Hi, welcome to Wellness. I'm your host, Linda Lonigan, Senior Clinical Nutritionist. I'm here to show you the very best your community has to offer in health, fitness, well-being, amazing events, and great people. Today I'm joined by the lovely Kathy Procurio, who is a positivity psychology health coach. Welcome, Kathy. Thank you, Linda. It's a delight to be back again. Oh, each and every time you, you just spread that wonderful sunshine that you do every day. Well, I try. Uh, yeah. So um, I know you talk to people in terms of enhancing um, to be happy and to find ways to be happy. Uh, and I wanted you to share with me today in terms of the holidays are coming huh. upon us. And you've learned so much through uh, Marsha Shymoff and the entire program. And I'd just like you to share about you know, working with the holidays. Well, the holidays for people, you know, I call it that seven letter word that starts with holly and ends with days and it either makes your heart <laughs> skip or plummet. Right. And right. Um, so there's, I just wanted to share a couple of tips of getting through this crazy, Thank whether you. whether it's the winter holidays, the spring holidays, birthdays, graduations, right. just different little things that your listeners might be able to think about right. as they go through the hustle and bustle of these next couple of months. Right. Um, basically, the main thing is just trying to take care of themselves mm -hmm. um, as you're going through everything. Mm -hmm. We're all running ragged and mm -hmm. tension starts and be able to carve out a little bit of time for you. Even right. if instead of walking the malls every day looking for gifts or the grocery right. stores or whatever, right. go out in nature once in a while. Even if it's cold, bundle up or just stand out on your deck or your front porch and just breathe in some fresh air. Take mm -hmm. some good deep breaths. I heard um, a great thing recently and it's called take some time to do two T things. To take a deep breath uh -huh. and touch your heart. And I had to do this myself recently. Um, not long ago, I was getting overwhelmed, uh, helping a friend of mine setting up a store. And I just had to step back for a minute. And I was like, I'm just so overwhelmed. And this came to my mind. I closed my eyes. I took a breath. I touched my heart. And it was completely different. So taking those breaths, a breath of three, inhale three times and just... You know, on that third inhale, right. inhale love, peace, compassion for yourself because we're That's running beautiful. around. The other thing I love is when I'm out doing things, I'm the little elf in our family. And I always say when I'm out elfing around, the elf has to get a prize too, right, sure. for all their work. Sure. So sure. treat yourself. Treat yourself to your favorite cup of coffee or mm -hmm. You see a little pair of earrings that are on sale that you think would be nice, and you just kind of, you know, stick it in your stocking or Absolutely. put it under your pillow or something for yourself. <laughs> Reward yourself for your efforts. No, that's wonderful. Wonderful. Uh, I'm always saying in terms of um, Shinrinyuku, which is actually Japanese for forest bathing. Oh, um, and it's a way of that. looking at just being in nature, but really taking it all in. When life gets a little chaotic, you know, mm -hmm. I always say that beyond the chaos and rhetoric, we have to see the forest through the trees. Yes, we do. Um, but you, uh, you touch so many lives all the time. So what, what do you think is very, very important, pertinent in terms of, um, to deal with the stress? Um, continuing to be active. Right. Uh, walking, working out, things like that, and mm -hmm. just, pampering yourself as well. Uh -huh. And one of the things that I think is really important is to look for the joyful moments. Mm -hmm. You know, we all rush around and think it's everything has to be perfect, but uh -huh. it doesn't need to be perfect. Right. You know, you're looking, it's called merry, right. joyful, happy, you know, be grateful for what you have, even right. with Thanksgiving coming up. Right. So many people, this is the only time they, they count their blessings is during Thanksgiving. Um, but, but, the main thing is that I think is looking for those joyful moments, not going for perfection, but what makes people happy, what makes you happy. Right. And focus on something like that, uh, surrounding yourself, staying connected right. with people who lift you up. Sure. As opposed to being dragged down by all those negative Nellies out there. Right. Um, I right. was thinking with the, you know, looking for joyful moments, even giving yourself a break when you're in the malls or you're, you're preparing and sit down with that cup of coffee and watch everybody. Do be a people watcher, which I absolutely <laughs> love. I could be anywhere, but I love watching people, but just, just kind of look at the little faces of all the little children who might be going to get their pictures taken with whomever. Um, 
just to just look for the little things in life that mean so much more than the big picture. Right. Right. And I know you walk the walk and talk the talk, Kathy. You certainly do in terms of and and very valuable very information to take that breath. And mm -hmm. uh, a wonderful football coach had sent me a great poem that, that said, we have this day. And to make the most of this day as we have it every single way we possibly can, because when this day is gone, we don't get it back. Right. And try to live that moment yes. for moment. The other thing, too, is that um, to even think definitely live in the present moment mm -hmm. and instead of always thinking about what's next what's next what's next right. stay in the present moment and focus on what's happening be fully present and be a human being as opposed to a human doing oh i love that yeah that's 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 wonderful and i, I know you help so many people too and i know that during the holidays for those that it's difficult just helping heals Mm -hmm. And helping can make you mm -hmm. happy. Sure, it, sure. It, it can. So, what does what does Kathy do? What is what makes Kathy happiest during the oh holiday? Oh my goodness! Oh, I will tell you. One of the things just makes me happy all the time is to put on some good music and move. <laughs> I mean, I, I, you know, I I'm, I cook an awful lot for my sure. family, sure. and you know that downtime in between when you're sautéing or waiting for the water to boil, sure. which you know when you watch. A sure. Pot, it sure. won't boil, right? right when you're right. waiting for it to boil. I love dancing around my kitchen. I do. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> yes. I mean, there was one time when my husband recently was home and it was, you know, I was starting to cook and he walks in and right. I got music going and I'm dancing. He goes, What are you doing? I said, It's dance time. Come and dance yeah. with me. You know, it's just, I love to move. I love to dance. Um, being outdoors. Even sometimes if, you, if it's cold or rainy, right. I might even just open the window and just breathe in the fresh air that way. Right. I remember one day doing that when it was snowing and then this big gust of wind came and next thing I knew, my whole face was soaking wet because it came in <laughs> through the window that I had open. So, yeah. And it made me laugh because it was startling, but at the same time, it was fun. Yeah, and it's and it's absolutely so true. As the Dalai Lama says, you know, dance like no one's watching. Exactly. And exactly. I could I can see you doing yes. that. Absolutely. So you come one day and we'll dance together. <laughs> <laughs> you bet. But, and um, do you have a, a favorite book? I'm sure it's Marsha Shymoff's. But well, right now I've just stumbled upon one by a woman by the name of Marie Forleo, and I love it. And it's called Everything Is Figure Outable. So as you're going through whatever you're going through and you're starting to get stressed out, right. just repeat that out loud three times. Everything is figure outable. Everything is figure outable. Everything is figure outable. It's an incredible book. I'm only partway through it. I almost brought it with me today because I, I just, it's, it's phenomenal. And I love her. She's just uh, an amazing woman who will make you smile and make you giggle. She's, I mean, you always tell me that I'm authentic. Yeah. She's more authentic. I can't, I can't imagine that, Kathy. Oh. I, I, I can't imagine. Um, and in terms, you continue to do your um, positive um, groups um, in mm -hmm. helping people in different venues at different times. Yes. Yes. And uh, walking the walk and talking the talk and doing all that together. Um, it's extremely valuable during the holidays mm -hmm. because I think people lose sight of what it means and how important it is beyond just the functional activities that we do or mm -hmm. the chores that we have to accomplish. And it's beautiful that you say that take the time to just sit down, take in the entire moment, enjoy, watch the people, and just enjoy the whole element of what the holiday represents mm -hmm. to be And happiest. control what you can control. You know, it, it, I say this all the time, it, like the weather. You can't control the weather, but everybody gets in a tizzy when they say that we might be getting some kind of precip. I won't say the S word, um, <laughs> but at any rate. Uh, but, but just control what you can control and what you can't. Just let it go. I mean, if you're in a room with people who are starting to annoy you, right. you have an option. You right. don't have to sit there. Right. You could just say, excuse me, and go to ladies' room and you know, do your, your breath of three or sure. open the window and take in some fresh air. Sure. But don't sure. leave yourself stuck. And right. also, I read something recently that said, people can't control your thoughts. So while you're sitting there and they're all yapping away, you could be sitting there and be at the beach <laughs> or, you know, laughing about something else, something right. that will, will kind of take you out for a moment, even though I'm telling you to be present, but just to give yourself a little bit of break. Just realize that you have yes. options. 
You don't have to be stuck in a situation that you don't want to be in. That's uh, extremely valuable. So what is Kathy's place of calm and relaxation? What do you visualize? Oh, my goodness. That's a tough one, Linda. I mean, because I'm constantly moving and going. I, I don't know. I live in. I just live in my little world of positivity. I always try to look at the bright side of everything. It's you so know? important. Even when I'm standing in line in the grocery store and somebody ahead of me is having some issues or whatever, I've actually gotten into... Um, a habit, speaking of being in the grocery store, that if I see somebody online or looking to get onto the line and they have less than me, I will let them go ahead of me. And it's very difficult for people to accept that. You know, I'll say, well, please go ahead. You have less than me. And no, 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 no. I was like, no, please, really. And it makes me feel good. And then they feel good too. And, Absolutely. you know, it's just being kind. Uh, very much so. It's all about being, I believe it's all about being a great human. Yes. And in every situation you can, mm -hmm. just if you can brighten someone's day or just make that better for a person, then, mm -hmm. then it's been a great day. I try, to, right I try to um, leave people feeling a little bit better than they might have been before I walked into their orb. <laughs> and, and, and you too. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, thank you for having me. I love being pleasure. with you, Linda. Thank you. Remember, when you eat well and select great foods and feel great, uh, it's something you want to do for the rest of your life. Remember, as Kathy Bercurio, the lovely Positively Health Coach, tells us that enjoy every single moment. Take time to sit back and watch the whole thing around you and uh, always have gratitude every single day and take those deep breaths to get through a holiday that sometimes is stressful. Thank you so much. Thank you to my lovely crew. Have a wonderful night.